Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello, welcome back everyone. This is case number 12 in abdominal radiology. Today our patient is 85-year-old patient presented with chronic constipation. So this is the anteroposterior radiograph of the abdomen of that patient. There are some positioning abnormalities due to old age. So it is not centered properly. But there are some abnormalities. Here you can see uh, an rounded opacity in the midline of the abdomen position in the lower abdomen. So it's a rounded opacity. Opacity here you can see here and it has a calcified wall here and it is continuous superiorly you can see continuation of the lesion superiorly and uh, apart from that uh, there are a few surgical clips probably due to previous surgery and also you can see a uh, plebolites and uh, also there are some degenerative changes here here osteophyte formation with reduction in intervertebral spaces and probably there are some wedge fractures here due to osteopenia osteoporotic fractures there are cost of conjunction calcifications so here the problem is that opacity rounded opacity in the region of abdominal aorta so the diagnosis in this case is abdominal aortic aneurysm it's kind of a saccule aneurysm okay, so the differential diagnosis for this kind of lesion in the midline especially a calcified lesion calcified lymph, lymph node probably due to TB uh, another one you can see calcified hematoma these are a few differential diagnosis uh, for calcified midline abdominal mass so you can think of uh, carcinoid also, you can also calcify. Those are few differential diagnoses. So abdominal aneurysm, then you have to do a CT angiogram of the abdominal aorta to, to get the measurement of the aorta and whether to see whether it's uh, suprarenal or infrarenal. Probably this one is infrarenal because it starts at level of uh, L3 probably yes L2 below L2 vertebra just look at the below L2 vertebra so it's probably infrarenal so that's important and need to see the extension of the aneurysm and need to exclude uh, any evidence of rupture of the aneurysm and also dissections you have to exclude so that concludes case number 12 in abdominal radiology please subscribe our youtube channel and also please be kind enough to uh, comment and then we can make amendments in the future videos thank you everyone. thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this